Don't worry about the Knicks, because it's your boy Chris with the Knicks. And this is a quick video. Um, I wanted to talk about that whole um, Asian man uh, slam dunking that black woman for because he thought she stole some $3 eyelashes. You know what? I made a video about this a long time ago. Asian-owned businesses in black areas. And like I said, you know, you need to start supporting black-owned black owned beauty supply places or at least beauty supply places of um, another nationality besides Asian. You know, I don't have anything against Asians, first of all, because a lot of them are cool. You do have a lot of them that are cool and they know you ain't no thief. Cause I know some around in the area, uh, some of the beauty supply places is closed. Uh, some of the convenience stores are going, they know me, they know who I am, they know me. So, But however, you have some that even if you go in there like 10 times, they still gonna watch you. They still gonna act like they cleaning up something or ask you need some help. And some just blame our racist. They just blame and older. Excuse me, I'm getting all time tired cause I'm about to go in. Then you got some of the like real older ones that just don't even care. They'll just stare at you and walk right behind you. And um, and I think they need our money, but they don't like us. So this is why you need to start supporting black-owned businesses. Well, yeah, they can make they can make the wigs, they can make all the products, but at least let us sell some stuff. We need to start selling. We can start selling it. And y'all need to start going online and buying stuff because it's way cheaper. Some of this hair and stuff that y'all be buying for like, I don't know, $100 you can get online for like <laughs> 50 If it's on clearance sales, it'll be 20 Um Most of my um, wigs for um, that I use for YouTube, my Andronda's look, my looks that I just like to change. You know, most of them I got offline. Some of them I got off in person. But of course, I got duped. And then some of the beauty supply places that closed, like uh, fashion, new fashion wigs on Vermont. Yep, they used to watch and follow me a lot. And um, yeah, this is what I'm saying. You know, you just start supporting your own. You know, that was a hell of a call for. And it goes back to Letitia Harlan uh, story that happened in um, 1997 or somewhere in the no 1991 because the uh, LA riots happened or 1992 because LA riots happened a little bit not too long after after Rodney King. But Letitia Harlan is a black girl that got killed because the Asian lady thought she was stealing something, and actually her husband and her son. They knew the girl, but they was in the store that day, and she and the um, Asian lady was there, and then um, she shot the black girl. First, she tackled her down to the ground, then the black girl, okay, she got up, Letitia, she got up, and then um, I guess she socked the lady, and she walked out, and then the lady just grabbed her pistol and they fired it on her, and she died at the age of 16. Uh, her, she was very young. And then the lady just got community service. And just like with this dude, he got, he went to jail, but he got up the very next day. And this is highly unacceptable. You know. And for all you ratchets that's going in these stores stealing, stop doing that. That's probably what they think we all steal. Because your ass on EBT, and when you in here stealing shit, if you can't afford the human long Remy. <laughs> human hair, then you don't need it. You better be comfortable with that synthetic until you can make money to get, you know, Remy long human hair, 40 inch weave. So, but then a lot of these, again, like I said, a lot of these Asians in these stores are racist. You know, there was no reason why he needs to get her in a headlock and WWE smack down her ass. <laughs> over that and then the wife was holding her hand too like what the hell is this like what the hell is going on so this is why like i said you need to start supporting your own you need to stop um calling other people your brother and sister because they only go use your movement to look at you and get past you like i said i'm not saying they can't make the hair they can't make the products but we also 
you know, we should be able to get some of that money too. We also still be selling it, especially if it's not in our community, because most of that money, none of the money that they, that we give them, goes back into our community. You paying for Ming Po to go into college, you know, Trey Sean ain't going to college. You paying for Ming Po. Uh, and, and watch the uh, the Bob's the documentary on YouTube. Search it up, Bob's, uh, and they'll tell you, and they'll go into more details. Because some guy said, uh, we ain't going to let you niggas. He was trying to open up a beauty supply place. And the Asian guy said, we ain't going to let you niggas in our um, industry. And this is black hair. You selling black products. And in the end, none of that shit is in English when you buy the book. And they will legit not sell it to you. <laughs> they will legit not sell it to you. So like I said, let's bankrupt their ass. Let them go up to them white folks. Them white folks ain't gonna let them uh, make that type of money. Because I already know they're gonna try to take over. Like I said, I'm not being racist. I'm not trying to take no food out of nobody's mouth. If you're gonna be blatantly stupid or you're gonna be blatantly racist, or you're gonna be blatantly disrespectful to people that's putting money in your economy, then we need to, then we need to show you what's up. You know, I'm not here for disrespect. They probably had some ratchets that came in there still, so they probably thought that was going to happen too. Stop stereotyping people, you know. So this is why, you know, like I said, put money into your own community. Put money into the natural hair movement. Put money. And, you, you know, fake hair is nothing wrong with it. You know, just don't get too addicted to it. You know, I just use mine for entertainment. And that's it. You know. <laughs> That's my take on it. Any comments, questions, concerns, leave them in the comment section below. Like, share, subscribe. You know, like this and sh share this because, like I said, the word needs to get out. But yes, I will bo be boycotting too. I will. I usually buy my stuff off online, anyways. Like I said, it's more cheaper. Because they charge you for like, the hair length, the texture. You know, if it's a skin part, always, always unnecessary charge for some shit that's gonna fuck up on you in two weeks. I ain't paying no hundred dollars for no synthetic wig or eighty or eight bucks for some uh, a cheap ass gel. No, you know, black people wake up. You need to know what time it is. All right, till then, this is being a boy, Crystal with an X on some real black ass talk. Peace.